I am currently doing a challenge where I have to get all of the achievements for every Disney Pixar game on the Xbox 360 before I reach 100 subscribers, or I have to get the Pixar logo tattooed somewhere on my body. I'd like to thank It's Illusion for giving me the idea of this challenge. Welcome back to Socks and Sandals, and today marks the second game in the Disney Pixar Games Challenge. Today we will be getting all of the achievements in Disney Pixar Cars. So the first Cars game only has 15 achievements and over half of them are gained just for completing specific races in the game. Well coming in first in specific races in the game. I originally played Cars back on PS2 when it came out uh, when I was a kid, and I can say that it was very nostalgic to play this game. Uh, I was kind of surprised by how far and how much I remembered of the game, because um, when I was a kid, I thought I'd only played like a small portion of it. You know, I very rarely beat games as a kid but as I played this I remembered specific points and was like yeah I remember doing this I remember having difficulties with this but anyway the first achievement I actually gained for cars was tractor tipping which was awarded for completing all levels in Mater's tractor tipping um when I unlocked the tractor tipping, uh, I just went ahead and did all of them just to get the achievement. Um, they really weren't too difficult. It's like like a puzzle game. There are certain... So you're like sneaking around what tractor tipping is. I'm sure you're seeing it on screen now. What tractor tipping is in cars is you have an arena and... There are a certain number of tractors in the arena, and Frank is, which is the combine, is patrolling the area, and you have to sneak through, honking your horn at each tractor, scaring them without being spotted by Frank. Um, the only one I really had trouble with was the, I believe there's nine stages in total, the only one I had trouble with was stage eight, where it's like a loop and you have to, like, Frank is constantly driving in the loop, so you've got to keep moving, and there are spots where you've got to, like, weave between bushes and stuff to scare the tractor, but you've got to make sure you stay ahead of Frank. That's the only one I really struggled with. Everything else, including the final one, was pretty much a piece of cake uh but i'd i'd probably say i played an hour of cars up to this point but once i unlocked the tractor tipping i decided to just play all of them just to get this achievement The next achievement I got was Palm Miles Speedway, which is to finish first at the Palm Miles Speedway track. So the racing in cars is not the greatest. There's some like serious rubber banding and like counter rubber banding. So what rubber banding is for people who don't play a lot of racing games, it's when you have such a large lead that the game will just like rocket other opponents just directly behind you uh and the same works sometimes where you may be f so far behind the game will slow other your other opponents down so you can catch up uh but like there are certain points where it's extremely obvious that that's what's happening. There are a few races that I would do where I would have, and again, if people haven't played racing games, a three-second lead 
that's not an insignificant amount of time. Three seconds may not seem like a lot, but when it comes to lap times and racing games, three seconds are pretty decent lead. But there are times where I would have a whole three second lead and then I can just see that that number just absolutely nosedive and all of a sudden someone is directly behind me. There are a few of the, uh, so the achievements you get the race achievements you get are mostly on the circuit track, uh, NASCAR style. There are times where I'll fall into third, and before the other two reach the finish line, it may not even be the final lap, before they reach the finish line, they'll just stop, and I'll get ahead of them. Um, so, I really, you know, it's a kid's game, but... I don't know why they did the racing this way. And, um, yeah, it, I'm not going to say it's the worst racing game I've played, but it's definitely not the best. Um, you know, I spoke with number 52's crew chief this morning, and he assured me that his racer is out to win today. Is there any stopping Lightning McQueen? After Paul Miles Speedway, I unlocked a Motor Speedway of the South, which is to place first in the Motor Speedway of the South. It was another circuit track race. Like I said, a majority of these are going to be races, and... A lot of the circuit track races I didn't have any trouble with except one like towards the end I believe it was like the second to last circuit track race I needed to do it just like I don't understand uh... and then ornament valley I Ended up actually capturing this late because I wasn't expecting to unlock it. Uh, Ornament Valley is achieved by unlocking Ornament Valley, which is the second area of the game. I think I got the achievement pop like towards the end. I didn't get it actually popping on the screen because I wasn't expecting it. It just sort of happened. But uh, yeah, I unlocked Ornament Valley, which is the second area. And then next up, I got Sheriff's Hot Pursuit, which is to complete all levels in Sheriff's Hot Pursuit. And this is by far the most difficult thing in uh, the Cars game. Just because sometimes the AI are just bugged out of their mind. So what the Sheriff's Hot Pursuit is, this is something I remember doing from childhood. So, what Sheriff's Hot Pursuit is, is each stage has three cars that are quote-unquote speeding. Uh, you know, they're not going any faster than any of the other cars <laughs> in the world. But, you have to, first off, find the cars. And that's frustrating thing one, is that they may be on a set path, but whenever I would fail and restart it seemed to change each car's path like they don't drive down the same road as they did in the last time you tried so that was frustrating thing number one is you got to find each car there are three like i said that you have to apprehend for speeding so you've got to find them and then once you get close enough behind them you start tailing them and they have a tail meter and something I was struggling with the game, I don't know if it's a mechanic with the game, I can't recall the PS2 version from childhood that well, but, so the way you drift in the game is holding gas and X at the same time and then a direction. I could not get the drift to the right, like if I needed to drift around a right hand curve. I could not consistently get it to drift right. Uh, I don't know if I... Like, I tried hitting the buttons in different orders and 
it just did not seem to respond very well. I wouldn't say that this part was difficult because actual difficulty, but like it didn't seem like any of the stages were like the cars were any faster than the stage before them. It just the area they're in made it difficult. Like, the bigger the area, the harder it was to find them. And then the more opportunities they had to change direction on a whim. And with my... I'm not going to say drift not working. Just I'm just going to give the game the benefit of the doubt and say my ill understanding of the right-hand drift... Uh, it just made it super frustrating. But once I completed the final Hot Pursuit level, I unlocked Sheriff's Hot Pursuit for completing all levels. Not only are the achievements for this, this was basically a launch game for the 360. It came out in 2006. Uh, so the 360 came out in 2005, I think. So, it had been out a year. So, it's a, at least an early 360 title. So, they weren't very creative with their names, let alone icons. Like, every single icon for this game is the exact same. It's just a picture of the Piston Cup. Um, and the descriptions are all like, do this. There's no, like, flavor text or anything. But, yeah, I would definitely say that Sheriff's Hot Pursuit is the hardest achievement to get in the game. And that's not really saying much. It was frustrating, but it's a kid's game. You know, I'm not going to front about this challenge I'm doing. These are all kids' games. But um, I will say there were a few in Wally -E that gave me trouble. But anyways, uh, Sheriff's Hot Pursuit is definitely the more frustrating one out of the whole game. Next up, got Rust Bucket Racerama, um, which surprisingly so this one you do is mater um this one this one was actually a pretty frustrating race too this is the first race that's required for an achievement that isn't a circuit track race it's uh kind of like if you've played the old demolition derby games where it's a dirt track and there's a ramp that jumps over like the middle of the arena um it's supposed to be that you could like collide in the air. This one took me a few times to actually uh, get first on, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. I think it's because Mater doesn't drift as tight as Lightning, so after the jump, um, once you're making your, it's it's going to be your second turn. The that. Uh, left hand drift there it was hard to get tight so I constantly hit the wall at the end um, losing you know seconds colliding with walls or objects don't matter as much in this game as they would in an actual racing game but you know it doesn't matter nothing it, uh, it will slow you down slightly so that was the issue I was having with this, but eventually I was able to come in first and unlocked the Rust Bucket Racerama achievement. <laughs> Next achievement I got is Sun Valley International Raceway. And this is the one race, the one circuit race that actually gave me some trouble. I don't know for whatever reason, but, like, I could not get into first and stay there. Every other race, once you got into first, you were pretty much, like, guaranteed first the rest of the race. When racing on the circuit, when doing any of the, like, Piston Cup races, the ones you get achievements for, you can't drift. Um, you just kind of, you have to either hit the brake or B does something on the controller. I don't know if it's a handbrake, but it, like, it'll throw, 
your ass end out, but also just significantly slows you down. So I don't know if B is just another brake or if it's an actual handbrake. I I didn't really look at the controls. I just sometimes when my when I couldn't get a right hand drift, I would just hit B and you know lose that speed. But that uh that and LT, like actual break, were the only way to get around curves without hitting the wall. Other that, other than you know just slowing down. But I don't know for some strange reason, uh, this one race was the difficult one. I, I I don't really know what was going on here. I the way the circuit races work is so you'll pass all of the cars like basically off of the starting line you're pretty much guaranteed to get up into at least six because none of the other cars past like seven and up are doing anything they're basically just stopped there so you'll get up to six and you're just fighting from sixth up to first well, once you get into third, you start lapping other cars. You're not really lapping them. Um, it's just placed cars, and they'll move, like, in specific groups. You can tell, like, okay, around this corner, this car that's hanging on the outside line is going to move inward. And then you can take the outside line and get around him on that corner and once they get around the corner they're going to spread back apart and taking the outside line would be the better option but even knowing that like say i got into first and i knew where the cars were going to move second third and fourth are just like just on your ass so in the circuit races you also get like you have to pit um you've got tire wear so you're you could probably so there it's, it's a 12 lap uh race so you could probably get to six maybe seven laps done and you're gonna have to pit i never had the tires blow but i would get it into yellow and one time was red and it's just a, a mini game to get it to get all the tires changed as quickly as possible um even if i got out of the pit with a three second lead like i said that rubber banding uh just coming out of the pit i would lose all of it it, it was just crazy this one race um i ended up winning like by a millisecond uh, I got into first, and over the line, the dude passed me. But, uh, yeah, that one that one was a struggle. I don't know. There was a mission after I did this. Um, I have done all, like, side missions up to this point. There's even a minigame, uh, Luigi's... What the hell is it called? Luigi to the Rescue, where you're picking up discarded tires and hubcaps on the side of the road that one wasn't even required but i completed all levels of it so basically as i'm playing through this i'm completing everything to get like a hundred percent in cars so after i completed this race there is a side mission with doc uh, i think it's called like doc's tune-up or something like that where like when you get into it uh, Doc's talking about upgrades that he gave Lightning, so I don't know if maybe those upgrades would have helped in the race. I don't know if there were actually upgrades given, but, because, uh, you know, the game didn't seem, I didn't seem to be moving any faster or anything, so I don't, I don't know what the deal with Sun Valley International Raceway was, but I finally beat it and uh, got the achievement. So next up, after that, I unlocked the achievement Tailfin Pass, which is to unlock Tailfin Pass. So this one, so Tailfin Pass, I was able to actually predict what would unlock the area. There's a race Lightning does with Sally called the Wheel Well Sprint, 
and having seen the movie I knew that Wheel Well was in this area and then just by looking on the map you can see that Wheel Well is in this other area so I just kind of figured once I complete this race I'll unlock Tailfin Pass and assuredly that is what happened. Remember the first time we came up here? Yeah, you mean the first time you tricked me into a race. <laughs> I did do that, didn't I? I'll never forget it. Next up is Monster Truck Mayhem, another achievement that I caught on the tail end of it popping just because I had completely forgotten that this was even an achievement. Uh, the Monster Truck Mayhem race is a group of monster trucks come into Radiator Springs and they're wanting to challenge Lightning to a race. So Luigi gives him bigger tires and you basically drive this race as Monster Truck Lightning. After that, I got Lizzie's postcard hunt, which is to find all of Lizzie's postcards. I found, so Lizzie's postcard hunt is just the collectibles in the game. Uh, there's 20 of them. I found 16 of them without looking at a guide. The remaining four, I was just like, you know what, I'll just look up a guide to find out where they're at. Um... They're not really that difficult to find. Uh, there are a few. There's one in the mine in Tailfin Pass that you have to break a wall down to get to. Um, there's another one in Radiator Springs that you have to jump across the gorge near Sarge's area to get to. Those are probably the two most difficult. The other two I missed, I just didn't check the area thoroughly um one's under the bridge in ornament valley and the other one i missed is under the bridge in um radiator springs i had been in those areas but during races so i don't know i just didn't even think to look there outside of a race but yeah after Getting all of her postcards, it tells you to go back to her hut. And basically, the little cutscene you get is like, it's basically like, hey, you just did this all for nothing. You see? I told you I'd find them all. Yep, they're all there. You would not believe how far some of them got. Almost all the way down Route 66. Who are you? Um, Lightning McQueen? I, <laughs> I found your postcards. Oh, there they are. I've been looking everywhere for them. And that's it. That's basically the whole thing. It's basically like the Korok seeds in fucking Breath of the Wild that people like to bang on about because you get a Korok poop at the end of them. So... <laughs> Yep, uh, so after getting Lizzie's postcard hunt, we are now left with just five achievements to go. Next up is Smasherville Motor Speedway, which is to finish in first. And by that name, I thought this was going to be a demolition derby race. It's not. It's just another circuit track race. And this one was no trouble whatsoever. Um, I was expecting the races after the Sun Valley track to be as difficult but they weren't again i don't know if it's because i did do that doc hudson mission and got a quote-unquote upgrade but I, I don't know i don't really feel like replaying the entire game to test that theory After completing Smasherville Motor Speedway, Chick Hicks 
is upset because he didn't win first. So, for some strange reason, we challenged Chick to a Grand Prix in each of the Ornament Valley locations, that being Radiator Springs, Ornament Valley itself, and Tailfin Pass. And he agrees to it, which is kind of dumb on his part, but I guess hubris because Lightning lives in this area, so he knows all of the roads. So he has the home team advantage here, but Chick Hicks accepts the challenge. Um, and the first leg of the Radiator Springs Grand Prix, which is Radiator Springs Grand Prix, uh, we unlock an achievement called Radiator Springs Grand Prix for coming in first in the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. And then after that, we move on to Tailfin Pass Grand Prix, and we unlock the achievement Tailfin Pass Grand Prix for, I'm sure you can guess. The next achievement after that is Ornament Valley Grand Prix for, yeah, beating Ornament Valley Grand Prix in first. And then that leaves us with one last achievement for Disney Pixar Cars, and that is LA International Speedway. So after coming in first in LA International Speedway, we unlock the LA International Speedway achievement. We get kind of a little ending where Sally, Lightning, and Mater hit the road. Um, I don't know if this is like leaving off into the second game. Uh, having watched Cars 2, I haven't played hardly any of the Cars games after this one. But having watched Cars 2, it has very little to do with Cars 1 other than having the characters. Um, we will just have to see once we start the Achievement Hunt Wars for Cars 2. But after uh, the gang leaves, they leave the trophy with Doc Hudson's trophy, which was kind of a uh, a little a heartwarming send-off for them. Um, so, yeah. And with that little send-off, we've completed the fifth game in the Disney Pixar games challenge. If you've seen the last video where I did Connect Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure, you know that I started this challenge with an advantage because I had already completed Up, Wally, -E, and Toy Story 3. So this is our fifth one in the challenge overall. So with that, um, yeah, Cars 1 wasn't hardly anything. Hey. Um, there were only 15 achievements. I basically did all of this in a matter of two days, just playing it once I got off work. Again, it's a kid's game. If you look at true achievements, the percent complete for this one is really high. I think it's like 37% of people who play this game get all of the achievements. Uh, early on, it was probably one of those easy full completion games. But, uh, yeah, it was nice to go back and play this um, just just for nostalgia's sake and just for the, the thousand gamer score and for the challenge. If you've played Disney Pixar Cars on whatever platform, PS2, Xbox, 360, PS3, leave it in the comments down below. If you're enjoying the challenge so far, or maybe you just want to see me get a tattoo. 
uh, consider subscribing and checking back next time for our next game in the challenge. I'm considering doing Brave as our next game. I want to kind of split up the Cars games because that's the vast majority of this challenge. So uh, I'm probably going to be doing Brave for the next one. Leave a like if you're enjoying it so far. But check back next time for whatever I do. Bye bye